Thank you all for joining us today for this uh, webinar. This is the first of the many webinars that we would be hosting. And uh, all the registered participants, our uh, uh, primary objective is that you learn the software and uh, not just learn the software, you're also able to tell your stories using st uh, using animation, using the software. That's our overall objective. And in whatever way that we can guide you, help you in achieving your uh, goal, uh, we'll be very happy to provide all support for you. Um, we have with us today, Mr. Kushal. So he heads the focal project within FOSI IIT. And he's also an expert in uh, 2D animation. He will be able to, he will help us understand how to use spoken tutorial uh, to um, to learn the software. I know a lot of you had questions about how to download it and how to learn it and things like that. So please feel free to use this opportunity to ask your questions and kickstart your journey on uh, how to learn 2D animation. Okay. Over to you, Kushal. So thank you. Uh, welcome to all again. So I think uh, we start with our uh, Synfix Studio, how to install it first uh, on, on our uh, operating system. So first we will uh, see how to install this Synfix Studio in uh, uh, on our uh, operating system. So I am going to share my screen. So one by one, uh, we will go. And uh, there are 12 tutorials in Synfig uh, Studio on Synfig Studio on uh, Spoken Tutorial. So uh, my uh, I'm suggesting you all, you watch these uh, 12 tutorials first. And after that, you get some uh, knowledge about the Synfig Studio, how it will work. Then you start your animation. Then you think how to prepare that animation, how to use this Synfig Studio and create your animation. So before we are going to start how to use Spoken Tutorial uh, for Synfix Studio, we will install this software. So I am sharing my screen. So now you can see this Spoken Tutorial website. I will tell you, the this is a Spoken Tutorial. Here you can see uh, there are 12 tutorials. So you can click here, you click uh, Synfix Studio, Synfix, and after that, you can click here in English. I will uh, show you English. There are Hindi also, Kannada, Malayalam, Marathi, and Tamil, Telugu, and Persian also. So for this, uh, now I am using English. So I click here on search. Now you can see there are 12 tutorials are there. So what, what you have to do, you have to watch one by one uh, these uh, uh, tutorials and side by side you have to open your Synfix Studio uh, software and do as step by step. So, so this is, suppose uh, I am now opening this uh, bounce ball animation. So this is one of the tutorial. So here in this tutorial, what is going on? In this tutorial, you can see in the outline uh, synfig uh, interface, introduction of synfig interface, where is a menu bar, what are the standard toolbars, toolbox, and uh, parameter panels. All these things we have to going to learn in these tutorials. So when you click here, uh, so now you can able to hear the sound of video. Process. Render the output in this format. To record this tutorial, I will say. So, what you have to do, you have to open the video, this spoken tutorial video in one browser, and you have to divide this screen in two parts. So one part okay, you open this. The menu bar is located at the top. The standard toolbar is located. And another part you have to open software. So for that,
So let me try once again to download this in Big Studio. Yes. So it it was supposed to send me a link of download in my email. Yes, yes. And I also received an email uh, yes. from the Syn Synfic team, I guess. Yes. But then I did not receive the download option there in the email. So now you can see uh, here one side I I have opened one uh, this browser where the video spoken tutorial video will be going on, and another side there is a software which I opened, just I downloaded and uh, I will I will give you one uh, link uh, where from where you can download the Synfix Studio. Uh, maybe the that uh, will be uh, not latest version, but I will share you that link with you all. So from that you can download that because okay. that is one repository for the Synfix Studio, which I have downloaded that and already I kept on the static uh, folder from FOSI, FOSI folder. There is one static folder is there. And in that static folder, I already downloaded that software and I kept there. So from there also, you can download your software and you can use. I will give you that link afterwards. So uh, now here, you can see one side, there is a uh, spoken tutorial is going on. And another side, there is a software. So when uh, I will play this uh, video, this is followed by horizontal and vertical rulers. The toolbox is located on the left side of the internet. So, when you watching this video, you have to stop and play, pause and play. You do pause and play and what she uh, giving an instruction in the video, you have to follow in your software. So now she is showing uh, these are the toolbox. So now you can see here, here this, there is a toolbar. Okay. Just below the toolbox, notice there are two boxes. The upper box is in black color and the tool tip thing, it is the outline color. The lower box is in white color and the tool tip thing, it is the fill color. So here you can see what she is saying here in the below this toolbox. So this is a canvas. In the center is the canvas. Yes. In this way. This is where we will do our animation. Below the canvas is the animation panel. Here we can see the buttons that are related to animation. So here is the animation panel. At the bottom left of the entity is the parameter panel. So here is the parameter panel. Whenever you want to a full full screen of our software, you can click here. This button, maximize button. So now you can see this is maximize button. So for uh, by clicking that you can see full screen our software. So by clicking once again, you can decrease the size of uh, that screen. So let's, so I will forward a video a little bit. So we will start one uh, ball animation tutorial. So this is a ball animation tutorial. One by one, we will do what she is saying and here we can do. 
So this is a canvas. Here is a canvas. Select create a region layer icon. So now we will let's create a region layer. So from here you can see there is a rectangle layer. You have to click on the rectangle toolbox. So here also you can see she already uh, clicked on that rectangle tool toolbox tool. Now I am uh, clicking here on rectangle tool. So now what she is doing, I will what play. Now draw a rectangle covering three fourths of the canvas as demonstrated. Please note that the default full color is. So once she drawn a rectangle, let's we let's try to draw as she did. So I will uh, click here and I will draw one rectangle like this. So again, you have to play this. Right. So you can see there is a layer also created in our uh, layer panel. So you can rename it by double click here and you can rename it. So whenever you draw anything, there will be a creation of layer and you have to rename it that layer particular. What is that? Suppose this is a sky, then you have to rename this layer as a sky. So I will also do what she said. The name of the layer is now sky. Please note that the cursor is very sensitive. Hence, avoid clicking randomly to prevent duplication of the previous action. The parameters for the rectangle are created in the parameters panel. Locate the color parameter and double click on the value column. Immediately, a dialog box appears. Change the color to blue by dragging the RGB scroller. Now close this dialog box. Next, click on the transform tool. So now I have to changing the color of my this uh, this sky. So I will click on in the property panel. Double click on the color. Now you can see this color dialog box is different than which she showed because because of the uh, variation of the version. So no worry. So click here RGB. So I will change my color. And close the dialog box. So now you can see my sky color sky layer color is also changed. Now, once again, we have to play the video. What she uh, doing next, we have to see. Then click outside the canvas to deselect the sky layer. Now, again, select the rectangle tool. Create another rectangle in the lower part of the canvas. Change the layer name to ground and the color to green as shown earlier. Yes, up to here. We will do once again, click the outside the canvas to deselect the rectangle layer. Suppose I uh, clicked mistakenly here on the canvas. That's why there is a new layer created rectangle. So I have to delete that. So click that layer and uh, go to the right click it and you can delete this layer. So I have only now one layer as she showed sky layer. Now I want to create one ground layer. 
So again, once again, I have to select this uh, rectangle tool. I will draw the rectangle like this, drag the mouse. And after that, I rename this as a ground. Enter and go to this property panel color checkbox and I will change it to the green. So this will be okay. Then I will close this. So now you can see this is my ground and sky. So once again, I will play what she is telling. Select the transform tool and click outside the canvas to deselect the layer. So every time, whenever you want to deselect the layers, you have to click on the outside the canvas. First, you have to select transform tool and then. So I will click on the transform tool, click out the outside. So now, now there is a no selection of no any layer selected. Once you selected any layer, you can see there is a red checkbox, a red, a red color is on the layer. If I select this layer, so this layer will be selected. So in this way, if you don't want to select anything or nothing, then you have to click outside the canvas. But that time your uh, transform tool will be select, should be selected. So once again, what she is going to next, we will see. Next, let us draw a ball. In the toolbox, click on the circle tool. Now we are going to create a ball. So for that, she is uh, selecting another tool that is a circle tool. So let's uh, play. Under the layer type, create a region layer to be selected. Click on the top part of the canvas and draw a circle. In the layers panel, rename the layer as ball as shown earlier. Change the color to red. Let us now start animating the ball. Select the transform tool. So now we are going to create a ball. So for that, we have to first select the layer, uh, select the tool as a tool circle. So now I selected the tool, but what are the options for that? You have to check in the option tool panel. So here you can see there is a layer name. Uh, uh, name is a circle. A layer type is there circle. And second is a region layer. So here you have to select a region layer as she said so i selected this and i deselected this so now only one option is selected that is create a region layer so you can rename here also before uh, creating a layer uh, otherwise you can change layer name as earlier we showed so now i will uh, name it as a ball and I enter. Now I will create this ball here. Yes. Now you can see there is a layer created ball region because this is an option we selected a region. It is not a circle. It is a region. So this is not a circle. This is a region like a circle. So this is a ball region layer. So I will rename it only ball. So I will select it and delete this region. Enter. So now this is my ball. So what she did, she colored it is a red. So also I have to select this ball layer. I will select this transform tool first. I will deselect all by clicking outside the canvas. Now there is no any selection. Then I will select this ball. Then I will go to the color option property panel and I will double click on the this uh, white area so I will get the color box now I will change it to red so now you can see this is my red ball but you can see here in this uh, tutorial you can see your uh, red ball is at this point and my red ball is at this point so how to move this for that, these are the nodes of the region, circle region. This is not a circle, this is a circle region. Because of this, we will get these nodes. So you can see there are uh, little nodes and there are again 
in the center box there is the green dot is there that dot means node so you can select this dot green dot click on that and drag it so we can move the position of this ball so i will move it like this here same as in the video so try to do what she said to try to do what we will do is the same so I, once again i will play this in the animation panel click on turn on animate editing mode icon yes so this is very important so this is very important when you are uh, now all setting is done means we created a, a ground we created a sky and also we created a ball now we are going to next stage to animate this ball so for that for that we uh, we have to click one button that is animation mode on so here in the animate uh, panel you can see there is a green green boy icon is there so click it so it will convert it into the animation mode on so what is the uh, difference so there you can see a red rectangle is there that means our animation mode is on so whatever we are now going to do that will be recorded and it is uh, like a animation uh, twinning uh, animation points are created for the particular frame particular uh, we can say it particular waypoint so what is the waypoint what is the keyframe we will see here in the tutorial i will play this enter nine on the current frame box press enter next click on the keyframe panel here click on the green plus sign icon to add a new keyframe select the ball on the canvas notice a green dot in the center of the ball drag this green dot to move the ball to the bottom of the canvas Move the ball a little above the ground as demonstrated. Use Shift key to move in a straight path while dragging. Observe, they points were created on the time track panel. Let's go to the 11th frame. Once again, add a new keyframe as shown earlier. Move the ball a little down such as the ball touches the ground. Notice orange and yellow dots around the ball. These are known as handles. Resize the ball as demonstrated using the orange dot in the handle to give us. So you play the video little and do as. So now here I will uh, pause the video. Now what she did, she move the ball down at particular frame. So these are the timeline. This is the timeline where you can see zero f, forty f, forty eight f. 96 here yeah. that means this is a frames 0 frame 48 frames 96 frame in this way and here you can see we are now at a 0 frame so here you can see 0 f so we have to i will uh, increase this uh, panel little by dragging the border so now you can see we are at a 0 frame so there is one key icon is there so when we click it so you can see there is a keyframes so first keyframe is already by default zero frame so we have to add two more keyframe one is for nine and another is for 11 so for that for that we have to move this zero frame to nine frame so we have to type it here nine so now you can see one uh, horizontal uh, vertical line is there blue vertical line that is a timeline so now it is at nine frame so whatever we are going to change in the object on the canvas that will be recorded here because animation mode is on already on so now what she did she moves this ball near the ground so once again now we at nine frame zero frame already recorded that ball is at the top side now we moving the ball at a nine frame so what will happen there will be one movement of the ball is recorded at the nine frame so now i am moving this ball by dragging the green dot 
So already I selected that green dot. When I down, uh, move it down, so it can be move here and there. So by avoiding that, you have to press shift button. So I will click on that green dot, press my keyboard shift button, and then I will down it. It will be vertically alignment. In vertical alignment, it will be moves down. So now I left it. So now you can see the ball is moved. Right. So ball is moved at 9 frame. But you can see there is no any uh, no any waypoint is created. So for that, for that, what you have to see, once again, click on the object. After that, you can see there are waypoints. These, if suppose you selected on the ground, there is no waypoints. If selected on the sky, there is no waypoints. But when you select on the ball layer, you can see there are two waypoints. Means which object is movement we did. That object, when you selected that object, that time only you will get the waypoints. It means that at zero frame, ball was up. And at 9 frame, ball is uh, near to the ground. Okay. So again, but we not created a keyframes. We only just created a waypoints. So I will create one keyframe for this also. So here are the plus button is there. Add a new keyframe. So I click here. So I will get a two keyframe, two waypoints. So zero is a one keyframe. 9 frame uh, nine frame is another keyframe and here I will get two waypoints. One is at 0 and one is at 9. So that means in between there is a movement of ball top to uh, near the ground. So once again she did 11th keyframe. Look at in the video. So I will type 11 press and here I will create a new keyframe. So at 11 keyframe, what, what she did, she changes the shape. So this is, a, this is a, if I selected the circle layer, I can't change the shape of the circle. That's why we already selected the option uh, that uh, region. So region will get uh, four, four points, four dots. This is uh, the four points, horizontal to vertical to and in the center there is a one point. So what I will do, I will decrease the size, uh, decrease the size of the ball. So I will move down this point here and I will move this up here. So the ball shape is changed now and I will move this to here. So what she did, we will see. Move the time cursor to the 13th frame. Select the 9th frame on the keyframe panel. Click on duplicate icon at the bottom. Move the time cursor to the 24th frame. Yes. So what she did, she did the duplicate on 13th frame. Duplicate of 9th frame on 13th frame. So once again, I will click here. 13th frame. So now I am at 13th frame. I will add, I will right click on the uh, and duplicate keyframe. So I have created 0, 9, 11, and 13. Four frame, four keyframes are there. And 9 frame and 13th frame is same because I uh, duplicated from 9 frame. So let's play. Select the zero frame on the keyframe panel. Again, click on the duplicate icon at the bottom. Go to the zero frame. So now what she did, she did 24 frame. We will go to 24 frame and we will duplicate this 24 frame to zero frame. So I will click on zero frame, right click and duplicate keyframe. So you can see there is one more keyframe is there, 24 frame. We will play the video. Click outside the canvas to deselect the ball. Click on the play button to see that. Yes. Now I will deselect this layer. 
So for that, I have selected the transform tool. Already they selected and I will click on the canvas. So now there is no layer selection. So what she did, she went to the zero frame. No? Yes. And after she played. So I will also go to the zero frame and I will play the animation. So look, so same what she did, I will fo I follow that and I will did in my software. So in this way, you can learn one by one all the tutorials. Once you've done, you will get the knowledge how the synfig will work. And after that, you start to plan your animation. So before, before uh, going to do anything in the synfig, you have to watch this tutorial one by one. So let's play what she did. Click on the pause button. Lastly, let us save the file. Go to file and click on save. I will save in desktop. Yes. Now you will see she is saving now. But before, uh, when you start the Synfig Studio, you have to save. You have to save uh, once you open that Synfig file. Since I gave the file a default name, as you can see here, I will change this name to Bouncing Ball. Observe that the available Synfix file extensions are .safz.saf. Okay, so in this way, you have to save the file, and after that, we will see how to export it. I will select .xif.z format. Click on save. Let us now render the animation. Go to file and click on render. Render settings dialog box opens up. Give a suitable file name as per your preference with .zip extension. Click on choose button to select the location to save. I will choose desktop and then click on OK. Click on target drop down menu and select Magic plus plus. Increase the quality to maximum. That is mine by clicking on the plus sign. This value should never be below 10. Leave the image setting as it is. Click on the time tab. Here, the frame rate should be 24 fps. This will give a smooth animation without work. Change the end time to 24 since the animation ends at 24 seconds. Press enter. Lastly, click on the render button at the bottom. It may take a few seconds to render the output. Yes, in this way, she uh, rendered that animation in GIF file. So uh, we also render this animation in AVI format, MP4 format. Okay, so now I am showing you how to do, do that. So I will first save this file. So go to the file menu, save. Uh, here uh, on the desktop, I will uh, name it ball animation. So it's done. It is saved. You can see here ball animation dot sifz. This is the extension of synfig file. So after that, we have to uh, render it. So there is a render. Go to the file and render. So in this render. You have, you have to select the extension for the file. So she selected .gif. So we have to select .gif and instead of Atto, you have to select magic plus plus. The quality should be 9 and the time frame. So from which, from, uh, uh, which frame to which frame. So he, she did from 0 to 24. So start time should be 0 and the time to be 24. And the frames per second should be 24. And she rendered it. But we will do AVI file. So what for that, we have to change something. So instead of GIF, I will write here AVI. And instead of magic plus plus, you have to do FFmpeg. And quality remain as a 9. The time should be remain as a 0 to 24. 
and I will render it. So once I click on this render button, so there is an error because uh, you have to install FFmpeg for this. So I will render instead of AVI, I will render FLA and I will select YUV420P. So what once done, you will get this uh, click sound is there. So what you can export, uh, how to render? So you have to go render and you can render uh, MP4, AVI, FLA, uh, G, GIF. So various format will be there. So you have to choose AVI file and uh, export or render your animation in AVI file. So let's check. Now you can see on the desktop, there is a ball animation AVI will be created. created. So I will watch this in our uh, player. Open with video. So now you can see. So this is in this way we can complete the tutorials. So you have to complete 12 tutorials. So each tutorial is a 10 minutes, max to 10 minutes. So I think you will get uh, to whole uh, 120 minutes, uh, means uh, two hours. In Within a two hours, you can complete all the tutorials. So you can, you, you can uh, do uh, as per your uh, plan. So uh, my, uh, my suggestion is that you can watch three tutorials per day. So... In four days, you will complete all the 12 tutorials. There will there is also uh, in the after completing the tutorial, you have to complete some assignments. So you do that assignments also and complete the 12 tutorials. After four days, you will be an expert in the Synfix Studio. And after that, you will start to do animation. But important thing is that okay, how to plan your uh, this uh, study. So for that, you have to create one folder on desktop. So uh, create a new folder and in the uh, Synfix Studio study. Synfix Studio or Synfix study. So create this folder. In that folder, you again create Tutorial number one. So in this folder, what you have to do, you have to download that video, which we saw. I think uh, they can uh, uh, watch it. Uh, it is uh, freely available online also. So they can stream it and uh, along with that, they can uh, try and uh, uh do the tutorials so i don't know whether they will be able to download the videos so they can use it online yes they can use it online also and once you uh, in, in this tutorial one you have to complete that assignment and put it here so in this way you will uh, you will get a 12 tutorial folders here and you can complete your 12 assignments here so in the in that way so you can go one by one tutorial and complete all the whole uh, 12 tutorial and after that you will start to create your animation for the animation hackathon thank you bye thank you everyone bye